once again, this is Corey Smith of the Petersburg Church of Christ, and this is chapter 23 in our study of the book, Muscle and a Shovel. Chapter 23. Again, this is Corey Smith of the Petersburg Church. When Mama ain't happy, you know the rest. Janetta carried the sack with her purse, a briefcase, and a bottle of wine. The Italian takeout, we had high heels and opened the sacks while I simultaneously pitched my car keys on the counter and grabbed the bottle opener. The phone kitchen wall. There was no caller ID in 1988. Hello, she said pleasantly at the end of the phone. Yeah, he's right here. Just a second, please. She pressed the phone to her stomach to keep the caller from hearing what she was about to tell me. It's Mr. Pompous words to me very slowly and quiet. Pompous expletive was not his name, of course, but the nickname had stuck. He had a lot of growing to do. Hello? Janetta Why? No thanks, and you won't call back because we withdrawn our membership from the Baptist Church. Another pause. I did a Bible study with a man who's a member of Randall's church, and I, another pause, excuse me, I hung up the phone. Why'd you hang up on him? <clears throat> Janetta was bewildered. He hung up on me. I said to her while twisting the bottle, but our old pastor was calling to say that he hadn't seen us in a while. I wanted money. Money, she asked. Money? She said it even louder the second time. I poured the wine. Evidently, I continued, they're building a new family life center with a big gym. And they're having a fundraiser. The last part came out in a laugh. The laugh couldn't be helped because neither of us had the whole thing. During our last meeting with the Reverend, he could not remember our names and did not seem to want to get He also gave us incorrect information and dismissed us in an arrogant manner. After that meeting, I had complained that he wouldn't miss us, but he had certainly missed our money. and had been absent for four months. He called. Why did he call? Was he concerned about unfaithfulness? Curious to find out if we were a car accident? Maybe he was concerned that we had joined a monastery. Maybe he wanted to find out if we were in some type of need and wanted to know if he could minister to us, minister to us in some way. Uh, not so much. Why had he called? So that's when you said no thanks. Janetta Quest, you look glass and smell the fragrance. It's like I saw the rich people do in the movies. Yep. And I told him he wouldn't need to call back. He asked why not, and that's when I told him that we had withdrawn our membership. Janetta was shaking her head in disbelief. So that's when you said you're having a Bible study with Randall? She asked, replaying the phone call in her mind. Yeah, and I was going to tell him that I'd read Matthew chapter 3. You remember the chapter he recommended? Yeah, I know. Go on, she said impatiently. Well, as soon as I said I was studying with a member of Randall's church, he said that they're a bunch of water dogs. Water dogs? That's exactly what the guy said. Water dogs. Then he hung up on me. Water dogs? What in the world does that mean? She was getting angry, and that was not good. So, she continued, he calls here to beg for money, finds out we're in a Bible study with someone from another church, 
calls the members of that church a derogatory name, then hangs up on you, and he's a pastor? She was seething with anger. Calm down, honey, I said after taking a sip of wine. I've scheduled a five-day study with Randall that we're starting a week from today, so I'll ask him. Don't worry about it. Let's eat. The food is getting cold. I cannot believe the gall of that man, she growled through clenched teeth. When mama ain't happy, well, you know the rest. The Baptist pastor certainly lived up to his nickname. Let's talk about the importance <clears throat> of bearing one another's burdens and the need to be involved with our church family on a daily basis. You see, that's part of why Jonetta got so upset. Here, this so-called pastor, they hadn't been around for, for a while, and when he finally calls, it's to ask for money for a family life center. That's not being a good, a good pastor or a good leader in a quote-unquote church when you're only calling to check when you can get some money from someone think about those who could use a phone call a visit or a card in the mail this also provides an excellent opportunity to get more involved write down names of those mentioned that you may be thinking about who need a visit who need a call who need a card where does the responsibility fall in maintaining a connection with those in the church. The Bible tells us elders, deacons, ministers, members. See, every individual Christian should be involved. It shouldn't just be put on one person to take care of. This is an opportunity to find out where you can get involved and stay involved in the body of Christ. Finally, in this lesson, I want us to look at a passage in Acts chapter 2. Turn there with me if you have your Bible. If not, we'll have it here on the screen. Acts chapter 2, starting at verse 42. And here we'll get this up on the screen for you. Uh, da -da, here we go. Acts 2 at verse 42. We see on the day of Pentecost when Peter has preached that gospel sermon, 3,000 have obeyed the gospel and been added to the church and were baptized. And that day, about 3,000 souls were added to them. Start at verse 42, though, in the context of our study. And they, the 3,000, continued steadfastly in, in prayers. Then fear came upon every soul, and many wonders and signs were done through the apostles. Now all who believed were together and had all things in common and need. So continuing daily with one accord in the temple and breaking bread from house to house, they ate their food with gladness and simplicity of heart, praising God and having favor with all the people. And the Lord added to the church daily those how we involve with our brothers and sisters in christ daily not just one hour sitting in a church building what would the lord's church look like if we all continued in the way of our brothers and sisters in the first century again my name is Corey smith this has been chapter 23 of the book muscle on a shovel we hope this has been beneficial to you you can find this on our social media pages, YouTube channel, Facebook, and as always on our website, 
www.scatteringtheseed.com. If you're local to the Petersburg, Tennessee area, we invite you to come and assemble with us Sunday mornings at 10 a.m. We're located at 203 Russell Street, just off of the south side of the Petersburg Square. Until next time, we hope you have a great day.